Well, you've got a lot of nerve. Thank you. Joe, come back here. Now, well, Nellie, baby, if it's about Saturday night, I can explain everything. What a yield. I spend four dollars to get my hair, Marcel. I buy me a brand new negligee. I bake him a great big pizza pie. And where were you? Where were you? With you. Me? Don't you remember you had this bad tooth and it was all impacted and his jaw was all swollen out? It was. Oh, yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, oh, I, I, I had to take him to the hospital and give him a blood transfusion, right? Right. Yeah, we have the same type of blood. Type O. Oh. Baby, I'll make it up to you. You're making it up pretty good so far. As soon as we get a job, I'm going to take you to the swellest restaurant in town. Oh, How about it, Nellie? Is Polycomp got anything for us? We're desperate. Well, it just so happens he is looking for a base. And a sack. Right. Right. What's the job? Three weeks in Florida. Florida? At the Seminole Ritz in Miami. Transportation and expenses all paid. Isn't she a bit of terrific? Come on, Missy. Will you? Yeah. Hold on. He's got some people in there with him. You'll have to wait, boys. All right, we'll wait. Look, Gladys, it's three weeks in Florida. Sweet Sue and her society syncopators. They need a couple of girls in sacks and bait. What do you mean, who is it? It's Polyakov. I got a job for you. Gladys, are you there? Gladys! The Shuganet. Played 112 hours at a marathon dance. Now she's in bed with a nervous collapse. Tell her to move over. Well, what about Cora Jackson? The last I heard of her, she was playing with a Salvation Army act. Drexel, 9044. Oh, those idiot frauds. Here we are, already packed, ready to leave for Miami. And what happens? The saxophone runs off with a Bible salesman, and the bass fiddle gets herself pregnant. Beanstalk, I ought to fire you. Me? I'm the manager of the band, not the night watchman. Hello, let me talk to Bessie Malone. What you doing in Philadelphia? On the level? Bessie let her hair grow. Now she's playing with Stokowski. Black bottom Bessie? Spielt sich mit der Philharmonic. How about Rosemary Schultz? She slashed her wrist when Valentino died. Well, we might as well all slash our wrists unless we round up two dames by this evening. Look, sir, you know the kind of girls we need. We don't care where you find them. Just get them on that train by 8 o'clock. Be nonchalant. Trust Polyakov. The moment anything turns up, I'll give you a little tingle. Bye, Satan. I wonder if I got room for another roster. Nellie, get me long distance. We want to talk to you. What is it? Yeah, it's about the Florida job. The Florida job? Mm -hmm. Nellie told us all about it. Yeah, we're not too late, are we? What do you have, a couple of comedians? Get out of here. Long distance, get me the William Morris Agency in New York. Well, you need a base in the sax, don't you? The instruments are right, but you're not. I want to speak to Mr. Morris. Wait a minute, what's wrong with us? You're in the wrong shape. Goodbye. In the wrong shape? What are you looking for, hunchbacks or something? It's not the backs that worry me. Well, what kind of a band is it anyway? You gotta be under 25. We could pass for that. You gotta be blonde. We, we could, could dye our hair. And you gotta be girls. We could. No, we couldn't. Mr. William Morris. Wait a minute, you mean this is a girl's band? Yeah, that's what he means. Good old Nelly. I could wring a neck. Now, I'm holding on. Let's talk this thing over, Joe. Why couldn't we do it? Huh? Last year, when we worked in the gypsy tea room, we wore gold earrings, didn't we? Remember when you booked us with the Hawaiian band? We wore grass skirts. What's with him? He drinks. No, but he ain't been eating so good either. He's got an empty stomach and it's gone to his head. Joe, this is three weeks in Florida. We could borrow some clothes from the girls in the chorus. You flipped your wig. Now you're talking. Now he is talking. You got, we get a couple of secondhand wigs, a little padding here and there. We call ourselves Josephine and Geraldine. Ha <laughs> ha. Josephine and Geraldine. Yeah. Come on. What, what the... Look, if you boys want to pick up a little money tonight, at the University of Illinois they're having, you should pardon the expression of St. Valentine's dance. We'll take it. You got it. Six dollars a man. Be on the campus at Urbana at eight o'clock. All the way to Urbana for a one-night stand? It's twelve dollars. We can get one of the overcoats at a hawk. Hello, Mr. Morris. This is Polyakov in Chicago. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a couple of girl musicians available, would you? A sax player and a bass? Look, if William Morris doesn't come through... Come we on, can, Geraldine. It's a hundred miles. It's snowing outside. Now, how are we going to get there? I'll think of something. You think... Like what? Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. cry. Don't cry. How'd it go, girl? Oh, you, I ought to wring your neck. Please, Jerry, that's no way to talk. Nelly, baby, what are you doing tonight? Tonight? Why? Because I've got some plans. I'm not doing anything. Really? I just thought I'd go home and have some old pizza. Then you'll be in all evening? Yes, Joe. Good, then you won't be needing your car. My car? Why, you! A bit of terrific. <laughs>
Vegas and Florida, all expenses paid. Flying in the sun, palm trees, flying fish. Knock it off, will ya? 